Hello everyone, welcome to this video which I will be talking about the reactions of monosaccharide. In today's um, presentation, we will see the different um, oxidation process that the sugar or particularly a monosaccharide could undergo. So, for example, we have here a molecule of glucose. So we have uh, a Howard or a cyclic form of monosaccharide and we have a Fischer form of monosaccharide. So we could easily uh, see the transformation in, in Fischer form. So a Fischer form is the open, open chain projection while a Howard form is a closed chain or a cyclic cyclic uh, form so it says here oxidation to produce acidic sugar can be facilitated by either tollens or benedict solution this uh, benedict solution particularly contains copper sulfate that's why in this uh, reaction you can see the participation of copper ion what happens here is the aldehyde end of a glucose this is your glucose the aldehyde end or the aldehyde group of the glucose will be transformed into what we call carboxylic acid so the aldehyde is oxidized so the process is called oxidation okay so remember that uh, when aldehyde is oxidized the product is carboxylic acids okay so what is the participation of the copper ion copper ion this copper ion serves as oxidizing oxidizing agent let's put that uh, here ox a oxidizing agent now in the process what you can see is the copper 2 plus which serves as oxidizing oxidizing agent has been reduced to copper one plus so these uh, reactions are actually redox in nature when we say redox that is reduction and oxidation reduction with respect to the copper two plus that is converted to copper one okay that is reduction so copper has been reduced to copper one plus with respect to oxidation it's the aldehyde that has been oxidized to carboxylic acid notice that the six carbon or the oh the alcohol in carbon number six remains unaffected Okay, so generally, when, um, when a monosaccharide undergoes oxidation in, in its aldehyde um, component, generally, the, the, the acid is called al, aldonic, aldonic acid. Okay, so for example, we have a glucose here that underwent oxidation. The acid, the glucose acid is called gluconic acid. Okay, so from glucose it becomes gluconic acid. This uh, reaction here, what we can see is the oxidation of two functional groups. It says here, Strong oxidizing agents such as nitric acid can oxidize both ends of the monosaccharide at the same time. So what are those ends? This is the aldehyde group and this is the alcohol group on carbon number 6. Remember, this is our carbon number 1 and this is our carbon number 6. So strong oxidizing agents such as strong acid can both oxidize the two functional group. So notice the transformation of the aldehyde it is converted to carboxylic acid likewise 
the alcohol on carbon number 6 is also converted to the carboxylic acid. So this is actually a dicarboxylic, dicarboxylic acid. So such reaction, such a reaction is known as formation of aldaric acid. So specifically, when we have glucose that underwent uh, oxidation to produce the aldaric acid, the product is called glucaric acid. You just have to uh, add aric acid. All right. In this reaction, we can see that uh, it's the 6 carbon or the hydroxyl group in the 6 carbon undergoes oxidation. Remember, in the first reaction, we have seen that the only the aldehyde that underwent oxidation. In the second reaction, we have seen that both ends, the aldehyde in the the aldehyde and the alcohol group on carbon number six, both of them went um, oxidation. However, in this um, in this process, what we can see here is the oxidation of the alcohol on carbon number six. So this is called enzymatic oxidation, which is um, facilitated by enzymes or biological enzyme. Notice that uh, in or the aldehyde remains unaffected, still aldehyde, but it's only the carbon number six or the OH, the hydroxyl group or the alcohol in carbon number six underwent oxidation to form glucuronic acid. So an alcohol is oxidized to carboxylic acid. So generally, a sugar that undergoes oxidation on its alcohol group on carbon number six is called aldoronic acid. So you just have to add uronic acid from glucose to uronic acid. So this process is a selective, selective process. The second type of reaction is called reduction to produce sugar alcohol. Remember, reduction is somewhat... Uh, opposite of oxidation so reduction is by definition is gain gaining of uh, electron and hydrogen so in this transformation we can see that it's the opposite of oxidation that will take place all right it says here the carbonyl group present in a monosaccharide either an aldose or ketose can be reduced to carboxylic group using hydrogen as a reducing agent so here let me uh, let's write the the process so a primary alcohol primary alcohol remember in your organic chemistry gets oxidized to aldehyde so let's write here oxidation o that represents oxidation Okay, and then the aldehyde is also oxidized to carboxylic carboxylic acid. Okay, carboxylic acid. Let's just put right there. All right, and then uh, the reverse arrow can still be possible. Can is also possible. So if the forward reaction is called oxidation, the reverse reaction is called reduction so we will reduce the carboxylic acid back to aldehyde and that what exactly happens here okay and uh, what happens in this reaction is from aldehyde from aldehyde to a primary alcohol so we have here if we are going to um, reverse this reaction we said earlier that primary alcohol, let's write primary alcohol. Okay, a primary alcohol is oxidized to aldehyde, that's the forward. However, the reverse reaction is aldehyde is 
reduced to a primary alcohol. So take note of the process called reduction. That's why the title is reduction to produce sugar alcohol. Okay, so we have here um, a transformation of glucose. So what what is the transformation that happens here? The aldehyde is converted or transformed into a primary alcohol. Okay. However, the as you notice, the alcohol in carbon number six remains the same. So what is the role of hydrogen gas here? It says it serves as reducing reducing agent. So glucitol is a dialcohol, dialcoholic uh, molecule. It's commonly known as sorbitol, which serves as uh, or used as sweetening agent in chewing gum.